welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today we're going to do a test drive, walk around inspection, show you lights working on this beautiful 1972 Chevrolet El Camino. And this particular car comes to us uh, long time owned. The gentleman brought it actually from Texas. Uh, he and his wife together as a team restored this car and it is uh, a 350 car. Uh, it isn't Super Sport clone, but it does have the correct numbers matching. 350 cubic inch V8, uh, very nicely optioned with power brakes, power steering, and factory AC. You see, it's painted in the beautiful red with black rally stripes, the black vinyl roof, and then the Chevrolet Rally wheels, great looking El Camino, and a great driving El Camino, which we'll grab the other camera and we'll go for a test drive. So now we're going to go a test drive in that beautiful 1972 Chevrolet El Camino. So the numbers matching 350 fires right up every time. Runs just like it should. Uh, it was, re was reported to us that the motor has had a cam. Uh, we can tell the external stuff it bolted to the, you know, the aftermarket intake, carburetor, um, but the owner did say that it had a mild cam installed. It does sound like it. It does have a yeah. nice little choppy idle. It's nothing major. And, it's and the transmission, when it was rebuilt, did have a mild shift cam installed as well. So, but it, Not very impressive shift cam. No, but you can feel it. I mean, it, yeah. it shifts fairly firm in a second. Uh, when you get on the truck, you can yeah. feel it a little bit. Just cruising again. Shifts pretty nice actually. Oh, and it's just, I mean, cruising this truck is just super smooth, super comfortable. Power yeah. steering. Factory air. Factory air that works, yeah. So, this manual windows, manual locks, but it's kind of cool. This, you know, of course, this year it's got the crank out little vent windows. Yeah. New tires on it. The truck drives extremely well. You know, it's a very easy driving truck, and it looks awesome. It finished in that bright red, the black racing stripes. I mean, it's just a great look on these El Caminos. Very classy. Push on the '72. It's, just a, it's a really tough car. The raised white letters. You know, got that muscle kind of truck look to it. Yeah. We're doing 60 miles per hour. Extremely comfortable. The truck is just cruising right along. That definitely has more forgiving gears in the rear end. Yeah. You know, so. The gentleman, when he brought it to us, he said he did 65, 70 miles per hour down the highway. And we're doing 65. 91 and a half year old gentleman. Yeah. Um, yeah, brought the truck from Texas. So a very, very dry body, very yeah. floors, the frame. None of those typical El Camino issues. No, the bottom side of this truck is excellent. What appears to be extremely original. Yeah. And the like, it's got the factory those like keyholes in the frame for shipment. And those are nice and crisp on both sides. The truck handles the roundabout very well. Yeah, pretty stock suspension. So I mean, you're not going to win any rally, but you, you can just no, maneuver enough. through a roundabout. Yeah, but just. An, Enough body roll that you can expect. Yeah. Nothing excessive. <laughs> so we'll get it to downshift and let that 350 breathe a little. It does have a good sound. It does. 60 miles per hour. Great note. It's a great sound. 
still a truck you can drive sportingly. We got a little bit. I got a little bit of air noise out of my it's out of my vent window, but I have little to none on my side. Huh? I have little to none on my side. Okay, I got a little bit here. I can hear from your side. Yeah. But no, the seats I, are comfortable. The yeah. seats, which seat is comfortable? Yeah, the padding's good. Yeah. Everything works. My speedometer, odometer. Wipers. Now the wiper switch is a little loose, but it does work. Uh, aftermarket radio shack. I see that every day. Nope, our shack radio shack <laughs> stereo. It does work. I have not tried the cassette tape, but um, and then of course the heater and AC works. Yep. Um, yeah, it's yeah. just the interior's in very good condition. The headliners in excellent condition. I mean, it's just a great example of these. It's one that you can drive and not feel bad about. And you can take it to your local cruise in or car show and be extremely proud of this truck. Oh yeah. It's, it's going to stand very tall. I mean, just as soon as it landed in the showroom, it's got a lot of attention. Absolutely. But, and the bed yeah. on this truck is in excellent condition as well. I mean, uh, it's nice and straight. There's no heavy dents in it. It's yeah. got that nice kind of thick mat back there too to help protect it. It's just, yeah. Great driving truck. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely not want to miss out on these. I mean, these Alcanos are getting harder and harder to find, especially in this kind of condition. So, and a great body style. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That Chevelle style front clip. Yeah. Just a great looking truck. So, yeah, they were tough. Yeah. So, stay tuned to the walk around inspection. We're about ready to do that. And uh, not a lot of flaws on this truck. It no. presents very well. Nice see. El Camino. Stay tuned. So now that we're done with the test drive, we're going to do the walk around inspection on this beautiful 1972 El Camino. And you know, these, the styling uh, of these El Caminos, that great Chevelle style front end, uh, just a great looking truck. But so we'll start with the driver's side here. The driver's side windshield is free of cracks and major chips. Uh, your windshield trim is in very good condition. Do a little ding right there in the upper trim, but shows very little wear or age. Coming across the driver's side of the hood, we do have a very minor chip here. Um, I think there's a two Minor ones have been touched up, and there's another one there. Very minor, though. You have to get down on. And then we'll come down on the fender, and the leading edge of the door, there's a small chip that was touched up. Another small chip that was touched up here in the fender. It looks like they're original emblems. They're showing a little bit of age to them. Uh, your fender molding is nice and straight. But the paint shines very well, and it's clear. It's a definitely a, it was a higher quality paint job when it was done. Wheel molding's in excellent condition. You got some brand new Mastercraft Avenger GT raised white letter tires on Chevy Rally wheels. We do have a light scratch here. Another small chip there touch up right there <clears throat> down low your silver your grays in very good condition there's a little touch up there but coming across the front your turn signal lenses and trim shows a little bit of age some slight paint loss in the black area this headlight surrounds in very good condition your grills in overall very good condition. Your front bumper is as well. Shines very nicely. The chrome's in very good condition. I might have a, a little scuff of chrome right here. <clears throat> very minor. But uh, this turn signal is very comparable condition of the driver's side. So coming across the passenger side of the hood and you know, on the leading edge there, on 
this edge here you got to touch up across the hood itself it's in very good condition no dents or dings got a hand from there now. your passenger side of the windshields comparable to the driver's side no chips no cracks Fender. There again, your emblems show a little bit of age to them. And I think the wheel molding, yeah, it's got a couple very minor dings. Fender's got a little chip there. They're very straight, no dents. Come into the passenger side door. Let's don't get up this touch up right there. Yeah. There's a little touch up here. There's a couple minor, minor chips. Your door handle's in very good condition. Let's get a little touch up underneath the door handle. Your mirror has got some minor pitting on the back of it. Uh, now coming on the window trim, it's in very good condition. There might be some real light scratching on the upper portion. But your vent window and the seal on this side looks like it's in very good condition. The black vinyl roof is in excellent condition. No issues. There's no bubbling underneath the vinyl roof. And even across the back, it's nice and nice and solid back windows in good condition and then coming into the interior you'll see a above average condition interior both the doors and some door corners here Oops. nice and clean they are being a Texas truck it's very solid door panels in very good condition you have some minor kind of warpage Not bad at all. Put full age to the lock pin. Both of your window cranks are showing a little bit of age. Have some minor pitting. Same with the door pull. Coming into the door jam. Scuff plates are nice and clean. Same with your door jams. Should be both across the top. Here's the interior carpet is in very good condition you do have some light fraying just from use really not bad dash pads in very good condition no cracks or heavy warpage to note Let's see your heater control lettering's all nice and clean just showing some minor age in the dash the aftermarket radio shack head unit Seat itself, the vinyl's in very good condition. Padding's nice and soft. Isn't coming apart on you. No rips or tears of the vinyl. Back to the seat again. Very good condition. Let's see your spare tire right behind it. Your rear carpet, very comparable to the front. Parcel racks in excellent condition. Same with your headliner. This is like new. Coming back outside the car, come across the passenger side quarter. Very straight. No dents, no dings. Your upper trim. This show a little bit of age in spots, but still very presentable. A couple little dings here and there. And then down low, just showing that trim and stuff. Let's see, we got there's some minor pretty dirty. There's some stone chips kind of underneath there too, but not bad. Come 
across the back of the truck. Your taillight lenses are in good condition. And like the front, there's a little bit of age on the, on the trim molding around them. Your rear bumper is in very good condition, shines very nicely. No dents. And then your molding across the back of the tailgate does show a little bit of age. Very presentable. And coming into the, the bed of this truck, the tailgate, you see across the bottom there, it is clean, crisp, no rust issues on the tailgate. And in the bed, it does have this nice heavy rubber mat, but the bed itself is in very good condition. And there's some very minor dents here and there, but overall, I definitely want to take a look at the pictures. The bed's in very good condition. The bed sides are in very good condition. And there's some, you know, the paint's not quite as good a quality as the exterior of the truck, but it's still functions just like it should. Opens and closes nicely. Come to the driver's side quarter. Paint shines very nicely. Down low. There is a couple very minor bubbles right there. In front of the bumper. But the rest of the quarter is very straight. No dents, no dings. Then your driver's side portion of the vinyl roof again is in excellent condition. No bubbles on this side either. Then your driver's door, uh, again your door handle's in good condition. Your mirror's got a little bit of pitting again, just like your passenger side. Coming down on the door. Not really see it. Uh-uh. Very clean driver's door. And then you come into the interior, and you'll see the bottom edge of this door is nice and crisp, just like the passenger side, no rust issue. Driver side door panels in very good condition again. It is starting to show some age. You got a little bit of chrome loss here and there. And a little bit of wear down low on the door panel. Uh, actually, the window crank on this side, your main one, is in pretty good condition. You do have some light age on the vent window crank and on the door release and pull again and armrest. Actually, the armrest doesn't have any cracks in it, it just has a little bit of warpage but your door jams again are very clean same with your scuff plates the driver's side of the seat is in very good condition no heavy wear or cracks anywhere Steering wheel is in very good condition. You do have some minor wear, but no heavy cracks in the plastic. Except for, I guess, back here. You do have on the back of the steering wheel, you do have some cracking. And there's some minor age in the horn button. And on the steering column itself. Again, your dashes, your dash pads in very good condition. Your rear view mirror, you can kind of see it has some age in it. Get out. Put the back of the seat again in very good condition. And your rear carpet in good condition. We have a little luggage compartment back here. Here's a 
doors close just like they should. Yeah, very nice. So coming under the hood, you'll find the original numbers matching uh, 350 cubic V8. Uh, it has been upgraded with some chrome air cleaner and valve covers from Aldo Brock. It does have a Holly aluminum, looks like a mild rise intake. Edel Brock carburetor. We'll fire this 350 up and show you some lights. Work. Market for uh, classic El Camino, uh, you know, truck, car. You can get both in the El Camino. So you definitely want to take a look at this very nice 1972 Chevy El Camino, Rock Solid Motorsports. Yeah. 